Throw in the comments section who is the best team in the NFL. You're watching us live on YouTube. I'm Mitchell Renz. That's Tom Downey. This is NFL Daily on Chat Sports. So who's the best team in the NFL? We want you guys to throw it in on the comments section. And then also use hashtag NFL for the your questions to be featured live on air. I see Will Walter almost, says. Almost, almost an L. Will Walter says, Igla, uh, the 49ers seeing some Seahawks, the Steelers. Oh, man. Oh, boy. 49ers, Broncos, Cowboys, 49ers, Seahawks. Keep throwing those in the comments section. Let's go to my man who needs to get a picture. Who is better, Saints or 49ers? So how about this? You type S for Saints or type 4 for 49ers. I'm going to go with the team that's undefeated. <laughs> like, let's give San Francisco some credit, right? No one's beat them this year. And we, we can always try to be like, oh, they haven't played anybody yet. It's the NFL, guys. This is not like it's it's Ohio State playing the Little Sisters of the Poor. Like, they're playing NFL teams. They haven't teams. played Michigan yet, though. Ooh, you're going to have a 5 a.m. meeting. Wow. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> you, you just got fired. <laughs> hey, this, if I got fired, type F in the Ooh. comment section. Oh, boy. Whatever. No, I, I'll still go. I think the 49ers are the better team right now. But if you were to ask me if these two teams match up in the NFC Championship game, I'll take the Saints, and I've already put down the Saints to uh, – <laughs> Mitch, please come to work at 5 p.m. Uh, you got it. I'll be here at 5 p.m. You got it, Chat Sports. Let's go to Caleb. What's up, Caleb? You and Sizzle both get a picture. Do you think Patriots miss Super Bowl? No. I'm going to say and, no. And, and we're going to have the hot <laughs> takes, I'm sure, on, on the major media networks about how, and I've seen it already, ooh, the Ravens expose the Patriots. Guys, we've played this song and dance for like 10 years. Every time the Patriots lose their first game, it becomes, it's over. They're done. It's nope. It's over. They're, they're they're terrible now. And every year they're not. It's almost like nobody goes 16 or no. And the idea that they were exposed somehow after winning eight straight doesn't. I've actually, actually make been any a little bit. I've I've been disappointed on how the media kind of shifted that the Patriots played so bad and were exposed instead of giving credit to the Ravens. They yep. played an unbelievable game. Lamar yep. Jackson is a human cheat code right now. And I want to give credit to Lamar Jackson for going up and beating a team like the Seahawks, going and beating a team like the Patriots. Because from start to finish, they absolutely just dismantled the team. But at the end of the day, take a drink. It's the Patriots in the playoffs. I'm probably going to take Tom. Let's go to Rubes McGoops. Who is your rookie you of the year contenders? Do you want to do the offense? I'll do defense. Josh Jacobs, Offensive go. Rookie of the Year, and I don't even think it's close right now. Uh, I think Minshew Mania has kind of died down a little bit. Yep. Uh, I think Kyler Murray is still going to be in the discussion there. And then Defensive Rookie of the Year, no disrespect to like Devin Bush, but it's Bosa. It's very clearly who, Bosa. Who do you th what do you think is more clear, Defensive Rookie of the Year for Bosa or Offensive Rookie of the Year for Jacobs? It's not even close. It's Bosa. Yeah? Bosa way more clear. Whew. You see what that uh – One of them is in discussion legitimately for MVP. That's Bosa. Okay. Not Jacobs. I've seen a lot of boasts in the comments section. Let's go to Will Walter. What up, Will? Do you, the Eagles, will make the playoffs? You just got to read what they mean, Mitch. I can read whatever the you, heck you, I you want. You just don't want that L up there. Do the Eagles, will the Eagles make the playoffs? I, they're going to have to win the NFC East, and I don't think they will catch up to the Cowboys. So I'm going to go with no. I will say that if there's one team right now not in the playoffs that I think could sneak in, I will say I think it's the Eagles. Let's go to Troy Daniels. What up, Troy? Do the Jets now join the tanking teams, and how is the tank bull now looking as Cincinnati is the only winless team? Actually, that was the thing that I was the more upset. I was I more know, upset. They, they took it away from us. They like, I think they watched the show, and they're like, all right, we can't have the Bengals and Dolphins play. I mean, that right there would have been worth a watch party. It's just one of the But, yeah, I think the Jets teams. are in the tank bull now. But do you think the Bengals now are kind of like, wait a minute? Uh, Bengals are like, cool, now we can win a game and still be in the mix. I, I don't think – Obviously, tanking is more of a media fan construction than what NFL coaches and players believe. Although, maybe tanking's the wrong word, and, and we can call it um, uh, active losing. Just to make I don't it a think I don't think as, if anybody's ever played a professional oh, sport, if you've ever played a sport, conscious winning. Type me in the comments section. What there's the, no point at any point that I've ever played a sport where I've tried to lose. Exactly. What did the uh, what did the what did, what did the Coldplay lead singer and his wife call it? Conscious uncoupling. Well, I have to think of something similar for. You know, for this, I have no conscious, idea what you're talking about. Conscious losing, something like that. I don't know. <laughs> Jimmy Garoppolo or Dak Prescott? First off, Caleb, get a picture. All right, Tom, you're building an NFL franchise. Dak, you're taking Dak or Jimmy G? Dak. Dak's been better this year. Jimmy G has not been bad. I know there's some trying to say, oh, Jimmy Garoppolo's bad, or he's been carried, which we've heard that narrative by the way for Dak Prescott too. 
Dak under the radar because the Cowboys only have four wins. They're only four and three right now. Dak's been a top five NFL quarterback this year. So I, I don't mind going with Jimmy Garoppolo, but I'm going to go with Dak Prescott. Yeah, I'll he's just he's just Jimmy. been better this season. I'm gonna go Jimmy Garoppolo. I think Jimmy Garoppolo is a quarterback that I would much rather have carrying my team, carrying my franchise than Dak. They're both good, but <sighs> Dak's been better this year. Oh, I don't know, Tom. I'm not hating on Jimmy G, but I mean you can. See, look I kind of I'm gonna go. With, see, I don't know if I'm gonna go with John Craig said Jimmy G for the leadership. I actually think Dak Dak's is a great, great leader, leader too. They're, they're both good. Good. I leaders. think they're right there, like really close, yeah. really close. Let's go to TKG. What does TKG stand for? Throw that in the comments. Who could you sneak in the playoffs? I assume you mean C sneaking in the playoffs. Um, how about the Chargers? Oh, Tom. Two in a row. They're four and five. They got the Raiders this week. They're, though, Tom. they're, they're not that far back. If they beat Oakland, all of a sudden they're back to five and five. I think nine and seven gets you in the AFC. I'm going to go with Chargers. Call me crazy. I'm going to call you crazy because I think the Raiders yeah. take care of business this week. On Thursday night football, I think the Raiders are the team that could sneak in. I think you when you look at a team that went four and twelve last good year, too. they've been playing a lot better. Should have beat the Texans if you ask me. In week eight, uh, John Craig says the Lions. I'm sorry. Also, Fable says the Lambs. I guess I, uh, I guess you mean the Rams. But uh, interested Hashtag why you go there. Math. Somebody said Bears. I'm gonna say no to that one. Mitch Trubisky, not very good. Let's. Is this Tom Brady's last year playing for the Patriots? I have absolutely no idea. <laughs> Does anybody um, know? I'm, I'm gonna, gonna say no. I'm gonna go with no. I. No. Look, Robert Kraft doesn't want Tom Brady to leave. I don't think Belichick really wants Tom Brady to leave. I think in the end, if they're I don't a I don't really buy there's any friction. I know it all comes from Schefter. Schefter also swore Garoppolo was not getting traded, and he got traded. So you know, no one's invaluable here. My mindset is this: I think in the end, Patriots have a good thing going. Belichick has a good thing going. Brady has a good thing going. If everything's going well. Why break it up? So I think, no, this is not his last year playing for New England. So we're trying to get to 150K subscribers. So if you guys like NFL news, rumors, draft, Q&A, and more, we got it all season long, and so make sure you don't miss anything. The link is below. Click that, youtube.com slash chatsportstv. Tom and I here are always breaking it down, but what makes Chat Sports a lot different than all these other people is the live interaction that we have with people. So Robert, Pete Gorman, Ron, Soko, Leonard Maddox, Flash Gordon, we appreciate all y'all. So make sure you take that link below, youtube.com slash chatsportstv, and send it to other people. Pete had a good point. Uh, he says that that uh, Jimmy G's the better player than Dak, just ask the ladies. Jimmy G is more handsome. That is not a up for debate. That's so fair. Ryan Cantero said sub. Joshua Rice just commented Joshua yeah. Rice. We appreciate y'all, <laughs> youtube.com slash chatsportstv. Tell your friends to sub. We got to get to 150K by the end of the year. Let's go to Jason. I almost said Travis Strickland. It's a guy who I follow on Twitter. Um, with new rule change on pass interference being reviewable, good or bad for the league, I think uh, it's bad. It is terrible. It has to go. It, 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 nothing gets overturned. If you want to make it a booth review thing, okay, that's fine. If you want to really avoid the disaster inside of two minutes like we saw in the Saints-Rams game. But right now, it's useless. Great. I it, think it's a good idea. It doesn't do anything. But we've not like we've seen blatant calls that refs are just like, hm, I don't care. I'm gonna stick to the call on the field. It's, it's absolutely driving me. Gotta go. Gotta go. Let's go to Bree Zaggy, who's gotta get rid of this picture. Burrow or Tua at number one? I still go with, with Tua. And I think there are some concerns about the injuries. Yep. I have been very impressed by Joe Burrow. But the weird thing to me is I feel like there's some level of Oh, he's, it's new. That's kind of, I think, what's playing a little bit here at Joe Burrow. I have a first-round grade right now on Burrow. He has impressed me that much. But all the criticisms leveled at Tua, oh, he's got a great supporting cast. Oh, he played bad last year. We can make those exact same arguments about Joe Burrow. Yeah. He's got a bunch of four- and five-star receivers. And last year, Joe Burrow had some really bad games. Now he's gotten way better. But I think it's some of because Tua was already up here to begin the year, and he really can't go that much higher. Now the fact that he's here, people are Well, because out. he's here, and now Burrow's up here. It's like, well, Burrow's gone up, therefore he's all of a sudden better. It's like the scale's all way off. So I like both those guys. I'm going Tua. And for those that say Tua's only good because of his supporting cast, we've seen Alabama have the best offensive talent in, the, in college football. We've seen Julio Jones and Calvin Ridley and, and Amari Cooper and all of these great receivers and backs. 
and there has not been a single quarterback remotely close to Tua's level at Alabama. It's not a, it's he's not a system type guy. I've been told he's also special. that I've been pretty good on the NFL Daily because of my supporting cast. There so. you go. That's All right, we got a giveaway alert. Yes. All right, Tom, you take it away. I'm going to go on IG and give some people some shout-outs. So go follow Kashiyama if you want a shout-out right now. Yes, if you want a chance to win a free blazer, go follow them too. It is Instagram. It's on Instagram, at Kashiyama. It takes two seconds. Go do it. Follow them on Instagram. I'm at, refreshing if you yeah. want a shout-out. At Kashiyama Taylors, and that's not all, by the way. Following them gets you a chance for a free blazer. And if we get to 2,900 by the end of the show, I'll get this up to the numbers for you guys in a second. We'll give away 25 bucks on Venmo. All you got to do is follow them on Instagram at Kashiyama Taylors. That's five seconds of your time for a chance to win 25 bucks. Get us to 2,900. Any new followers there, Mitch? Uh, so the last guy to follow, Kashi Almontanos, is 215 underscore Tom. What's up, Jimmy? So I, I, I know Jared followed earlier. Robert Jackson, go do it. Ultimate Wi Fi. I period senti 2398. So if, that's King23 Grind. If someone named Ultimate Wi Fi doesn't have Instagram, that'd be kind of surprising to me there <laughs> as well. So Flash Gordon, Joshua Rice, Kevin Thornson, Ultimate Wi Fi, Joe Olson, go follow Kashiyama on IG right now yeah. for a chance to win some money and a free blazer. Yeah. Again, folks, follow them on Instagram at Kashiyama Taylor's. 25 bucks for Venmo if we hit that number by tonight. That's the only way to do it there. Again, at Kashiyama Taylor's on Instagram. Not that far away. We're getting closer on Kashiyama Taylor's. If you guys missed anything on today's show, don't worry. The, the Q&A Zoom, it's all coming up right now on Loop. <laughs> 